Hello, and welcome to the channel, or welcome back to the channel, whichever the case may be. So I'm Lee with Traveling Expats, and I'm out here walking on the forest trails, and I wanted to, um, to share some information with you um, about our lives. So if you know, if you've followed, boy, we've got a lot of, a lot of sun back behind me. That's, that's going to be pretty bright. I don't know how this is going to look, but um, if you followed our channel at all, if you've watched our videos for a while, then you know that, you probably know, that uh, Betty and I, we split most of our time between living and traveling in the United States and living and traveling in Germany. So we are Americans who, um, we love Germany. We love living in Germany and Germany holds a very special place in our heart. And today I just wanted to, to share a little bit of that with you as far as why we like Germany so much. And that's a question that we get asked quite often, to be honest with you. Um, why do you like Germany? Why do you like living in Germany? And for the most part, we probably get asked that question more um, from Germans who really seem to have a hard time believing that we like living in Germany. Um, to them, it just kind of... Um, blows their minds and I've been asked um, quite a few times by Germans that have asked me why do you live here um, or if you're from the United States you know why do you choose to live in Germany they really seem to have a hard time understanding it so um, we're gonna we're gonna discuss that and talk about that a little bit today while we walk around out here so you know our our love of Germany goes back many years it goes back well, about 30 years, uh, close to it, almost 30 years. And um, so we were originally stationed there with the U.S. military. We were sent there with the U.S. military. And, um, you know, I got to be honest with you. We didn't like it at first. Um, we didn't we didn't like it at all. As a matter of fact, I would say, um, Maybe we hated it, actually. Um, but yeah, we weren't big fans, and um, yeah, it just wasn't. Uh, it just wasn't a good time when when we first got there. So, um, 1995, and I'm I'm in the U.S. Army. I've been in the U.S. Army for a couple years, and I'm engaged to Betty. And Betty is a uh, college student in her last year um, to get her degree. And so we're engaged and we're, we're going to wait until after she graduates college and then we're going to get married and we're going to settle down and we're going to live that great, you know, American dream somewhere. And then literally the, the week after, we, so we got engaged um, like the weekend after Thanksgiving in 1994. And literally just a few days after we got engaged, the, um, the army notified me that I had to go to Germany. And I was like, what? What Germany? Why Germany? No. Um, I did not want to go to Germany. And I was like, if, if I have to go somewhere, um, why not Hawaii? Or... Um, you know, somewhere warm, somewhere nice and tropical. Uh, I did not want to go to Germany. And, you know, to be quite honest, um, I didn't know a lot about Germany, uh, except, you know, all the bad things that you learn in history class and all the bad stuff that seems to make up about 50% of the programming on the History Channel, right? So I knew all that. And... I just, you know, didn't want to go. Tried to get out of it. There were people who were willing to, to trade with me, but uh, I couldn't. Uh, they, we couldn't trade, so the army said you had to go. So, so we went. And we get to Germany in March 
1995 and it's cold it's gray it's snowing i hated cold weather and so i just did not i was not a fan of the weather and we just missed so many things about life in the united states you know we missed um watching the nfl on sunday afternoons or at least I missed that. I don't know if Betty, I don't think Betty missed that. I know she didn't, but I missed watching the NFL on Sunday afternoons. We missed, you know, going to the store and going shopping at 10 o'clock at night, whenever you feel like it, right? We missed going and picking up Chinese takeout from the drive through any day of the, seven days a week. Spoiler alert, there's no Chinese drive throughs in Germany. So we missed all those good things about the American way of life, right? And just didn't like Germany. It was pretty miserable. But then something changed. So first of all, we started traveling a little bit. Um, now we lived in a very small village in Bavaria. And then we got out, you know, we went to, um, Oktoberfest in Munich. We went to Berlin. You know, got to see the you know a lot of nice medieval villages, castles, Christmas markets, and then the next thing you know, we fell in love with Germany. We fell in love with the German food and German beer. Yeah, you know that's right. And the next thing you know. We even enjoyed, learned to love the slow pace of life in Germany. And, you know, when you talk about the slow pace of life in Germany, that means, especially on Sunday, everything's closed. The stores are closed. You know, you can't go shop. You really can't do anything. You can't run errands on Sunday. So all the stuff we do in the United States, like shopping and watching the NFL and running errands on Sunday. It's almost just like a regular day. Can't do that in Germany. And so we didn't like it at first, but then after a while, we really learned to appreciate that and we really liked it. So we really fell in love with life in Germany. So another thing that really stands out to us about life in Germany is just how safe we feel that we feel there, um, to be honest with you. And now, now I know, you know, bad things can and do happen anywhere. And Germany is certainly no exception to that. But in the places we've lived, and now we've lived in, in mostly small villages in Bavaria and Rheinland-Pfalz, but we've also lived in the big city of Leipzig. And the places we've lived, we've always generally felt just very secure and and safe. And I felt like Germany was just a fantastic place to raise our, our two children. So there's that aspect. And there's a, the sen there's a sense of community in the, the villages we lived in, the places we've lived where um, everybody, I mean, now some people might, I guess, say it's overstep, but uh, people really kind of seem to look out for each other. And and our neighbors have always been warm to us. Now, a lot of people I know um, that doesn't apply for everyone because I talked to plenty of uh, people, foreigners who live in Germany and they say that the Germans are, are really cold and um, you know not very open. And uh, of course, there is some, some truth to that. I mean, they're not very likely just to say hello or good morning or when, when they pass you on the street. But I will say this about Germans, when you really um, make friends with them, and generally you're gonna have friends for a long time and people you can count on. We, we have friends that we've known for almost 30 years, 20 years, and uh, we still stay in touch with them and have great um, connections with them. So they're really, once you become friends from our experience, when you become friends with Germans, then generally you've got a friend for the rest of your life and someone you're gonna, you're gonna stay in touch with. Um, and you know, along with that, whereas, you know, Americans, we tend to walk by and say, hello, good morning. And we're going to ask you how you're doing um, just in passing. But if a German asks you how you're doing, then um, they really want to know 
how you're doing. And if you ask a German how they're doing, then, you know, be prepared to uh, listen for a few minutes because they're going to tell you how they're doing and <laughs> what's going on in their lives, right? That's just the way it is. So fast forward to today, modern times, and we are no longer with the U.S. military. And matter of fact, we haven't been for several years. Um, we bought a house in Germany and we both had jobs working uh, for German companies. We paid German taxes, we used the German healthcare system, and we dealt with all of the bureaucracy involved um, with living in Germany. And we still love it there. We still like it. We still consider it our second home. And uh, we always will. I think we always will love it there unless something very drastic happens. Um, yeah. So, um, you know, all of that, even with all that, and, you know, there's a lot to complain about. And certainly we don't love everything about Germany. And I'll do a, I'll do a separate show, a separate talk on what we don't like about living in Germany. But yeah, for the most part, you know, we, we really love it there. And when we're not in Germany, um, especially when we haven't been there for a while, we really look forward to, um, to getting back there. So I know what you're thinking. Next question, well, if you like it there so much, why don't you just stay there? And, you know, that's, that's a very valid question. That's, that's a good question. And, you know, the reason is, just to be quite honest, is family. You know, we, um, our, our kids grew up and they left and they came to the United States uh, to attend university. And, um, you know, I'm quite certain they're never gonna move back to Germany probably they're going to start their their careers and and their lives and they'll be in the US and you know even though we had jobs that we really enjoyed and we had great benefits we had 6 weeks of paid vacation we found that when we were spending so much of those 6 weeks back in the United States with our kids and uh, spending time with our family that uh, it really didn't make a lot of sense so um we resigned from our jobs, and then now that's why we split our time between the United States and Germany. But if it weren't for family, to be quite honest, I think we would probably, we'd probably live there full time um, instead of just kind of splitting time half and half. And so, you know, another thing that we really like and you know kind of goes hand in hand with that um, not not working or not doing errands or not shopping on sundays is um, the germans really appreciation of work-life balance and they're not afraid to definitely draw a line you know when the work day is done then work is done and they're you know they're not going to be on call they're not going to answer texts they're you know or, or things of that nature and the you know the work really respects that boundary whereas of course that's not the case in the United States and and uh, you know many situations you're expected to be available 24 hours a day and to work overtime with with no notice uh, but in Germany, that's not the case. They definitely have that appreciation for work-life balance. And, um, um, you know, money isn't everything, right? Uh, they definitely appreciate that. Whereas, uh, you know, a lot of Americans, it's all about, uh, you know, how much money can you make uh, more, more, more. And, and in Germany, they, they understand that, um, you know, money's not everything and you have to enjoy your life and have time uh, for yourself to take care of yourself and to spend with your family and enjoy it. So, and I really appreciate that as well. All right, so that's our story. You know, that's how we uh, came to love living in Germany. And, you know, we're Americans and, you know, I love the United States, but uh, honestly, Germany will always have a special place in my heart and I'll, I'll always consider it my, my second home to be quite honest with you. Um, yeah, you know, and uh, it's so funny when it all started, you know, I didn't want to go there. And when I first got there, you know, the first year or so, I couldn't wait to leave. I couldn't wait to get back to the U.S. And then the next thing you know, you just kind of fell in love, fall in love with the place. And when I first had to leave the, the first uh, time I was there, um, you know, I didn't want to go. And when I when I left, um, 
I really started feel, feeling kind of homesick for Germany, you know? So, um, yeah, it's kind of interesting, and I guess a lot of people might think that's strange, but uh, we, uh, we really enjoyed it. We, we really enjoy life there, and um, yeah. So let us know what you think. Um, uh, are you an American living in Germany? Share your experience with us. Um, you know, or, or anyone, any uh, foreigner living in Germany, let us know how life goes for you. Okay, so, and if you're German, you know, please let us know. Uh, you know, put your, uh, put your opinion in the comments. Um, do you know Americans who live in Germany? And if so, um, what do you think about them? Um, you know, are we, are we good people? Are we good neighbors or whatever? Are we good people to work with? Um, do you think it's strange? that Americans go to Germany and end up loving it so much and want to live there and stay there, you know, for years and years. Um, if you're a German and you've been to the United States or maybe you've lived in the United States, you know, what do you think? How do you compare life in the two countries? Uh, we would love to know your thoughts and opinions on this subject. So, uh, and uh, so we appreciate you guys watching. Yeah. So uh, let us know. Let us know what your thoughts are. If you like this video, if you found this interesting, you know, please hit the like button and um, yeah, leave us a comment and let us know what you think. Have you been to Germany? Did you like it? Did you not like it? And uh, what were your experiences? And join us, um, you know, next week I'll probably do a talk about the things that we don't like living in Germany because, you know, it's not a utopia and it certainly has issues and there are some things that, uh, that uh, definitely frustrate us from time to time. And we'll, we'll discuss those next week, but we do love it there. We like the way of life and uh, it'll always be our second home. So thanks for joining us and uh, we'll see you next week.